Hello and welcome to Amrita by the Book. My name is Amrita. This is my booktube and today I am delighted to be doing the Choose Your Own Adventure book tag. Now the original is by Johanna and I have linked down to her video below and you can also check out the prompts but I actually saw this over on Rosie's channel and she did something really interesting. She answered all the prompts with characters from Terry Pratchett's Discworld which is her favorite fantasy series and that really gave me an idea for doing this with all Wheel of Time characters. Now I know that none of you actually care about the Wheel of Time for some reason. All the people that come here even though they love fantasy, none of you appear to have read the Wheel of Time or at most you've read like a couple of books. So I know that this is just me pushing my agenda but what's the point of having a booktube if you can't be enthusiastic about the things that you love? So here's my choose your own adventure book tag and my adventure is all Wheel of Time. The first prompt is Fantasy Twin, name a character that you can relate to on a personal level. And this has to be Nynaeve. My inner rage demon relates to her so much. I wish I could just go through the world just showing my emotions the way that she does with abandon. It doesn't always work out for her which is also the reason why I am not just snapping people's heads off all the time. But I like the fact that she can just be herself no matter what situation she's in or what the consequences might be. I also like that she is hardworking and talented and she genuinely cares for people. Themes that I have expanded upon in my Women of Wheel of Time video. Number two is Hero, a character that you aspire to be and I will say that I would like to be Kat Suan. Now I'm aware that this is a controversial choice and uh, there are a lot of fans out there who really don't like her especially because she's one of those greens that treat men really badly but honestly I really want to be an old lady who is feared and does pretty much as she likes. I mean just her name strikes fear into the hearts of women who are just as privileged and scary as she is in theory until she steps in. That's my retirement plan. Number three is champion. Choose a character to be your champion in a duel and for my money I know there are lots of characters in the Wheel of Time who are amazing at fighting but I feel like I have to go with Matt. He's tricky so you know he's not going to give anyone a fair fight so that automatically increases his chances of winning. Two, he's really talented with weapons and knows tactics and stuff. And three, if you can actually get Matt to agree to be your champion in anything, you know he's there 100%. These are all things that I want in a champion and also there's the Matt Cawthon luck. Unbeatable combination all across. Number four is unlikable character. Name a character whom you love to loathe. And for this I have to choose Demand Red even though he is really a Sanderson character or rather I prefer the Sanderson version of Demand Red who I think is a lot more complex and um, you know this is not actually part of the main canon. I mean it is part of the canon but it's actually part of a outtake that Sanderson later published as a short story in an anthology. But I think in the you know the little bit that Sanderson was allowed to show him on screen so to speak, he really did a good job of giving that character depth and maintaining the fact that he is basically batshit which he would have to be after all the things that he's been through. And how sad that is because you can see the potential in him and who he might have been if he hadn't forsaken the light. And also he gets one of the greatest entry scenes of all time, anywhere. Number five is Tavern Buddy. Name a character that you would like to spend a night out on the town with and I feel like a lot of people would say Matt because he has that reputation for cruising but I actually think um, either Tom or Brigitte would be a better choice. 
Tom, because he probably knows all the best places in town and you know he's going to be the life of the party and so you're just there for the ride. And Brigitte, because she's actually good fun, she has great stories and she has your back. Woman on the town, you need someone to have your back. Number six is villain. Name a character with whom you would not want to cross paths. And this is very easy. It's the dark one. Like literally, they don't even want to mention his name in the box. But I also think the Children of the Light, the old version before Galad got his hands on them, they're some of the worst villains in the series because they don't even have magic or any kind of history. They're just ordinary men who are so deluded that they are doing incredible amounts of evil. Loathe them. Number seven is mentor. Name a character from whom you would like to learn or have as a mentor. And I feel like the Wheel of Time has a ton of these, right? There's obviously Moraine and Lan, who are you know two of the first characters that we see who are teaching the farm boys and girls a ton of things that they don't know about the world but there's also tom tam was a great parent and teacher to rand the wolves are lovely to parent but for my money like one of the best mentors in the series is siwan sanche who is not only an excellent mentor to egwin but also she knows so much about the world in which they live and she understands it in a very real way. And I think one of the things that I really like about her is the fact that she understands what it is to wield power and what it is to be powerless. And she knew that even before she became the Amaralyn seat and after, which is why I think she's such a survivor. Number eight, Samwise. Name a character whom you would trust to be your best friend and this has to be men all the way. That girl is true blue and she is just steadfast. She doesn't expect things of people. She doesn't want things of people. She just loves wholeheartedly and she's there for you. Min is the kind of person to whom you could tell anything and you would know that she has your back and that's what I want in a best friend. Number nine is found family. If you could give one character a home, who would it or they be? And honestly, it has to be Rand. Poor Rand. Like yes, he's the dragon reborn and yes, he has like all this power and he's the main character, blah, blah, blah. But basically he spends the entire series at the mercy of literal fate. I'm so glad that he got the resolution that he did in the last book and I hope he's actually having like a wonderful time wherever he is and if he wants a home, if he just wants to rest a little, just you know daydream and see the clouds go by, read a book, listen to music, relax a little bit, I'd be happy to give him a home. So that was me choosing my own adventure. I hope you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to read The Wheel of Time? But it's okay if you don't and if you don't then maybe you can use that time to watch the videos by the people that I'm tagging today which include Nikki from Nikki's Books, Bethan from her own channel Bethan Brunenga Sokolar, Rinalini, who is a new face around these parts and you should check out her channel as well. And Pastel Writer, who probably has a ton of choices. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time. For more videos, please hit the subscribe button.